it can be said that the sort of the modern era of climate change research began at Scripps. Charles David Keeling was a scientist at Scripps Institution of Oceanography who was really the first person in the scientific community to take a look at climate change and what our fossil fuel use was doing to the atmosphere. Dave Keeling was a, a geochemist who came to Scripps in 1956. He began making very precise measurements of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. He put a sensor on top of uh, Mauna Loa in Hawaii. He wanted to go to remote places to get very pure uh, air samples. And he started calculating the CO2 content in the air and plotting it on the graph. And that graph became what's known as the Keeling Curve. As time went on, the curve continued to rise. When you have an additional amount of CO2 in the atmosphere, it creates sort of a blanket over the planet. And so what happens is the entire planet gets warmer, and that affects every single ecosystem on the planet. Before Charles Keeling started measuring carbon dioxide in 1957, there's no record of what the carbon dioxide content of the atmosphere was. Part of what we do here at Scripps is we try to extend the record back in time before 1957 using ice cores using the fact that there's little air bubbles trapped in, in glacial ice that allow you to get a sample of the ancient atmosphere. CO2 today is higher than it's been in at least the last 800,000 years. In some sense, humans are now in, in control of the climate. And so what we choose to do is, is the major variable. These are very practical measures that can be taken, and I think scientists do want to convey that message that there are things that can be done. The Scripps Institution of Oceanography was the first scientific research institution that really took climate science into an established discipline. And we realized that one of the most profound contributions that we could make would be to help them to understand how they could more effectively curtail their own utility consumption, and obviously therefore their own environmental impact. What the Energy Optimum Algorithm is, is it's a mathematical algorithm combined with a lot of building science knowledge in an advanced program that will allow you to understand exactly why and how the building is consuming whatever utilities it's consuming. Some of the things it might specify would be insulate the building, weatherize the building, install this much solar in the building, but it might also specify change the rate plan from this to that. The world has changed. No longer are you trading off environmental benefit against your fiscal well-being. They're one and the same.